Hello and welcome to another episode of webinformant.tv. I'm your host, David Strom. Today we're looking at a new product from McAfee called Firewall Enterprise Profiler. It makes it easier to troubleshoot and manage your McAfee firewalls and to keep up with changes to your network and applications. You're looking at its main summary screen and the colored bubbles indicate the volume of events and firewall actions between a source called who and a destination called where. The bigger the bubble, the more traffic, the darker the dot, the more dominant the ratio. And at the top of the screen is a trend graph that shows you hourly traffic flows. Let's take a look at a few typical situations. Say you get an email from a user in distress that can no longer access one of their web apps from their desktop. We type in this name, click on the bubble that concerns us, and can drill down quickly and see what kind of traffic is happening, where the source and destination is, and what rules in the firewall are impacting this traffic. There's no need to run a custom report or go through complex series of configuration screens. Let's say that one of our web admins can't access the card database. Here's what happens when we click on that intersection. Another nice feature is the ability to examine different time periods and figure out what has changed between them. For example, you can compare firewall enforcement before and after a major rules update. You click on the Compare button and you can quickly see a screen such as this one that shows you what the time series effects are and prioritize these changes. You can also create custom time periods and quickly narrow your focus to spot particular anomalies. You can also quickly create all sorts of ad hoc queries without having to know and construct complex syntax or command lines. For example, let's say we want to examine all the web traffic traversing our firewall. Next to each search box is a pull-down menu that you can click on to adjust the search criteria to look for specific users, firewall objects, or IP addresses. Again, this is all very intuitive. We can also click on the various services in the left-hand menu as well. So let's look for the web traffic. Once we click, we get this result where we can again drill down into each bubble and see what's really going on. If we click on the SSH traffic, we see a lot of denied traffic involving an HR server. And upon further investigation, we see that one of our firewall rules hasn't been set up properly. How does this compare to other firewall management tools? Let's take a look at Checkpoint's Smart View Tracker, which you see here. There's a ton of information to filter through, and while Checkpoint provides different ways to narrow your focus, it doesn't have any real-time rule validation, so if you do make any changes to your configuration, you could end up messing up something unintentionally. There's a lot of choices, and it's far from being a single-click operation like the McAfee profile. How about Juniper's Network Security Manager we're looking at here? It has separate views and predefined reports, and you can do some filtering to narrow your focus, but you can't drill down to a specific user, and its log analyzer only shows you denied traffic rather than all traffic that passes through the firewall rules. You also have to explicitly log traffic in your rule sets, otherwise it won't show up in the audits. Spotting trends and changes is not easy. As you can see, neither of these tools is easy to use for troubleshooting compliance and configuration changes as Profiler. With both tools, you need to understand how your rule sets are constructed and how your firewall behaves before you can find out what you are looking for. And unlike log analyzers, with Profiler, you can examine both allowed and denied traffic patterns and be used by less experienced staffers. What are things I didn't like about the product? Profiler is only for McAfee Firewall Enterprise. It would be nice to manage a mixed vendor collection in the future. Another drawback is that only five separate firewalls can be managed from a single console. Here's where you add the link to Profiler in the admin console. Managing your firewalls across your enterprise can be expensive and time-consuming and require highly skilled operators as well as coordinating data across a variety of security and logging tools. Profiler takes some of that pain away and makes it easier to drill down to capture what has changed and to look at real-time events so you can be sure that you aren't creating new problems for yourself when you make changes to your network infrastructure. Thanks for watching another episode of webinformant.tv.